We only see what our eyes enable us to. But there is this a bizarre invisible world all around us, from the infinitesimal to the ubiquitous objects which are part of our daily lives. Here are some scientific explorations of invisible phenomena. Tardigrades. At the microscopic level exist tiny strange creatures called tardigrades. They have superpowers which enable them to survive extreme conditions from boiling, deep freezing, crushing, drying out and even being blasted into space. These diminutive, seemingly insignificant animals are about one millimetre long and have a strangely frightening appearance. They have podgy eyeless faces with fleshy folds and eight stumpy legs ending in vicious claws. Their mouth, which resembles a mechanical wheel, contains sharp serrated teeth for spearing prey. There are 900 known species of these so-called water bears. Most feed on the juices of moss, lichens and algae, while others are carnivores and can even devour their fellow tardigrades. Fossils of the ancient species date back to the Cambrian period over 500 million years ago when the earliest complex animals were evolving. Tardigrades were first discovered in 1702 by a Dutch scientist named Anton van Leeuwenhoek who added water to lifeless dirt from a rain gutter and observed it through an improvised microscope. Within an hour, many tiny creatures were activated and started swimming and crawling around. The microscopic rotifers, which appeared to have wheels on their heads, could evidently survive months without water. Over 70 years later, the Italian clergyman and scientist Lazzaro Spallanzani revealed further astonishing superpowers. He named the hundreds of tiny bear-shaped creatures he saw swimming around Il Tardigrado, which means slow stepper, in reference to their sluggish movement. It was later found that tardigrades may be able to survive without water for decades. In 1948, the Italian zoologist Tina Franceschi reported that tardigrades detected in dried moss from museum specimens over 120 years old could be brought back to life. After rehydrating a tardigrade, she was astonished to see one of its front legs moving. While the study has never been replicated, others support it such as when, in 1995, desiccated tardigrades were completely revived after eight years of dormancy. In 2007, some 3,000 tardigrades were launched into space by satellite and then examined on their return to Earth. The Swiss-German scientific team found that not only had many of them survived, some of the females had even laid eggs in orbit, and the recently hatched young were thriving. The resilience of the species even suggested to theorists that life on Earth may not have originated here but arrived on a comet. The plucky creatures have been found to survive in some of the harshest regions of Earth, from high up a mountain in the Himalayas, the Japanese hot springs, ocean depths and in Antarctica. They have been found to tolerate massive amounts of radiation, being heated to 150 degrees centigrade and frozen to nearly absolute zero. They have an astonishing array of survival mechanisms which help them do this. For example, most animals suffer dehydration without water, even the destruction of their DNA. In 1922, a German scientist called H. Baumann found that when a water bear has no water, it retracts its head and legs, entering a deep state of suspended animation. As it loses the water in its body, the tardigrade's metabolism slows and it shrinks into a dry husk form, where it can stay for decades until reanimation when it again comes into contact with water. As the tardigrades start to desiccate, their bodies seem to produce antioxidants that protect their cells from harmful chemicals, even repairing their DNA on awakening. They can be boiled or frozen without any ill effects on their cell structure. In 1964, scientists inflicted lethal doses of x-rays on tardigrades and found that they survived, as well as tolerating alpha, gamma and ultraviolet radiation, even when not in their dormant state. While the radiation of their space venture 
destroyed some exposed to higher levels, their mortality rate was not 100%. They can also survive six times the crushing pressure of an environment such as the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean, at nearly 11,000 metres, the deepest part of the sea, and exerting a pressure of 600 megapascals. Most microorganisms stop functioning at 30 megapascals, and even bacteria don't survive much beyond 300 megapascals of pressure. The curious thing about the tardigrades is that they have evolved to deal with conditions so extreme that these conditions don't even exist on Earth. These tough invisible creatures will probably outlast us humans. Dark Matter We are surrounded by an invisible and still mysterious substance called dark matter. While it doesn't really affect our lives here on Earth, without it, we would probably not exist in the first place. We've known about the existence of dark matter since the late 1800s, when astronomers started noticing a huge discrepancy between the observable mass of the galaxy compared with what was indicated by bending light and the speed and gravitational pull of stars. In 1968, astronomer Vera Rubin discovered that only about 20% of matter in the universe comprises what we know to be protons, neutrons and electrons and is therefore visible. The other 80% is invisible dark matter. Most of us have heard of the Big Bang, the extrapolation that some 10 to 20 billion years ago, a gigantic explosion originating from a minute volume of space resulted in the creation of the universe. Clusters of galaxies flying apart from each other. Gradually over time, the gravitational effects of an invisible matter formed what is called a scaffolding for normal matter, enabling the formation of planets and stars. The existence of this mysterious, non-directing and non-reflecting substance is necessary to account for the rotation of galaxies and the movements of clusters. Some invisible galaxies have been found which are nearly 100% dark matter. On a smaller scale, dark matter is too thinly dispersed to affect the motion of the solar system, objects here on Earth, or the origin and evolution of humans. However, the gravity that it imparts is completely necessary for enabling our galaxy to retain the raw ingredients that formed life like us and other planets like Earth. Without dark matter, the universe will probably have no glimmer of life at all. The reason is that in a universe without dark matter, the only planets would be empty gas giant worlds. There would still exist stars and galaxies, but no rocky solid spheres able to harbour life. There would be no liquid water or other essential ingredients available to create life forms. The massive amounts of heavy elements generated by eons of evolving star formations have created the conditions for molecule-based life manifestations, like the human species. Although masking a ubiquitous invisible presence, the massive dark matter halos pervading our galaxies have allowed carbon-based life to take hold on Earth, and possibly even on other planets. The mysterious phenomenon of dark matter, which is still yet to be understood, provides all that is necessary for the origin of life, the underlying chemistry, the heavy complex elements allowing biology to evolve, and the rocky planets for that life to inhabit. Cloaking Humans have fantasized about the intriguing possibility of becoming invisible for centuries, as reflected in popular fiction and film themes from H.D. Wells to Harry Potter. The University of Rochester in New York has been working on a device that creates an illusion of invisibility on a small scale, with the potential to develop a more comprehensive system of invisibility. The relatively low-tech setup uses a series of four lenses which bend light in such a way as to create a blind spot between them, swerving light rays around a ruler, hand or other small objects to render it invisible when observed through the aperture. Other experiments use metamaterials, which possess properties not found in natural substances. Some metamaterials are able to curve light so that a metamaterial cloak could effectively bend incoming light 
around an object behind it, making it seem to disappear. At this stage, this technology is only effective for a single wavelength of light, according to Jose Azana, a researcher with Canada's National Institute for Scientific Research. What our eyes see in reality is the whole spectrum of colours, which are contained in the white light revealing an object. Another spectral cloaking system modifies incoming light so that it only includes the wavelengths that pass through an object and then turns them back to the original wavelength afterwards. Because the incoming light has no chance to interact with whatever it passes through, the object is rendered invisible. Along the same lines, however, Canada-based Hyperstealth Biotechnology has invented a thin sheet of material which is able to curve light to render a similar kind of invisibility effect. The mysterious material named Quantum Stealth is effective with all wavelengths of visible light and operates by bending light emanating from the background on both sides towards the onlooker to create a blind spot at the centre. Basically, the background on the left of the object appears on the right of the material and vice versa. In the overlap zone between the two images, a target can be concealed in the middle, according to Guy Clark, Hyperstealth CEO and Quantum Stealth inventor. Military research continues to investigate so-called active camouflage which matches the object to the background behind it. This could be achieved with 360 degree cameras and a bodysuit covered in OLED pixels that relay images. While some active camouflage suit prototypes have been developed, the results are so far disappointing. The suits don't disappear completely and it's not clear how they cope with rapid movement. The downside of all these methods ranges from restrictions on the position of the viewer to blurry backgrounds, and none has yet had a practical application. But perhaps that's not such a bad thing when you consider some of the ways in which invisible cloaking could be used. <laughs>